what's up guys man i have something to talk about you know on the ugandan election you know um a lot of people have been calling out um the president or the the incumbent president of uganda you know to have rigged the election and then uh, bobby wine is not too happy that man i lose or i lost at the poll and some people said man it was actually rigged and that is something i'll be showing you guys on this you know because recently um a lot of reports made it online concerning how you know um the supporters of bobby white we are being harassed using the governmental institutions like the army and the police or other security uh, um, uh, agencies to actually do that and that is a bit disturbing to the um, society at large hey, hey, let's go and i still have something on um, whiskey at this point in time that a lot of people are now talking about whiskey 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 and bonaboy because some issues are now hanging around them and i still want to talk talk about that because some people are being suspicious about the kind of relationship between whiskey and Bonner boy hey, hey let's go i have to actually speak about um you know the recent happenings in um you know nigeria you know recently um are the armed forces the um the dove or the the dove that signifies peace refused to fly and uh, what is actually wrong a lot of people have been talking about that before i jump right in i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about as a people on social media <music> Right, man <laughs> a lot of things happened recently from the story of um, you know Bobby wine and uh, the Ugandan president right a lot of people actually spoke about um, you know something so I want you to be seeing some kind of uh, clips report on this election so that you can make your own input about the whole thing I don't like you know discussing politics I don't like that because of the controversial nature and the kind of uh, do or die nature that a lot of people actually attached to it although the future belongs to us we'll be fighting on the ground trying to strengthen some things you know using our platform to actually talk about a lot of things and I think Bobby Wine is one guy that has inspired me a lot and then I have to actually respect him young boy uh, young man um, at the age of 30 something years born in 1982 is a guy that we need to actually respect after running against the president almost won the president and is a guy we need to respect at this point in time sure what have uh, spoke something that some people are not actually uh, convinced about saying that Uganda I call upon you to you know resist dictatorship and find a way to bring or to take out you know this dictator from power yes this person uh, uh, the president the current president right now of uganda has been ruling uganda for over 35 to 36 years right now i'm still one of claim to power till he dies and that is something peculiar to you know african politicians african leaders that is why young people are no longer respecting them let me give you some clips to actually watch and you know um kind of make your own opinion about it hey, hey let's go this first one is that between uh you know i'm a paul of uh, the cnn and uh, uh the the president of uganda we've interviewed Bobby Wine is all over the international press that he has been, you know, attacked. A member of his team has been killed. He is not able to go to big rallies. He's been jailed. How is that fair in terms of a level playing field for contesting the elections? Well, first of all, we have saved our people from dying in big numbers from Corona. Have you heard of Corona? Corona uh, has, been I... <laughs> has been killing people and has killed very many people in Europe and in the United States. Here, we have only lost about 300 people now. We have been able, and we have been able to do that 
by stopping public gatherings. Now, Mr. Bobby Wine was one of the people who was defying that. In other, in other words, causing the death of, of uh, the spread of the of the virus. That's how he ran into conflict with the law. That's how that's how it all started. And then they they tried to blackmail the country by rioting. You have seen ri what what rioting is in in, in 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 Washington. It was not a good idea. Those rioters who attacked uh, uh, the, the parliament building in Washington. But we are very happy that we have not uh, our people have not died like they have died in your places. Well, actually, Mr. President, let me just stop you there because obviously we know what coronavirus is. You also are holding rallies the same size, if not bigger than Bobby Wines. So that's, you know, that's one case. But here's the I thing, Mr. President, there are 40, 54 people who were killed in, these, uh, in, 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 in the situation by your security forces in November. Why does he have to campaign in a flak jacket? Why do 54 people have to die the the 32 of the 54 were rioters attacking security forces the, the, uh, that's how the, 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 they died it was I, I hear you now in, in, in the US talking of insurrection uh, and you are saying insurrection is a bad idea this was a, was a form of insurrection uh, and, and that's how they were they were suppressed by when they were attacking security forces there are others 22 who died through circumstances which we are still investigating the un says we're gravely concerned by the election related violence the excessive use of force by security personnel as well as the increasing crackdown on peaceful protesters political and civil society leaders and human rights defenders so the un that's the un saying that it's the security forces and your own security force i mean to be honest with you, me with you really shocked me recently because he said that we are proud of cracking down on reporters he said we beat reporters for their own good i don't understand why you keep putting the blame on them when your security forces are doing this and what's the point of it i don't understand we we have we, we have cameras all over the place if if the security forces are the ones who make mistakes it is easy to see to to capture and identify in any case the, nobody knows more about Uganda than, than ourselves. I am here, I, I have got a, lo a lot of experience, and I can tell you who is in the wrong and who is in the right. So the, the UN should just, the UN have got enough trouble spots in the world to deal with. Guys, what can you make out of that? Yes, it was a kind of question, tough one for the president. Yes, you had a political rally with, you know, crowd. At that rally as a president yes nobody did something about it so your opponents had a kind of similar rally and you are angry about it i think african politicians they need to actually you know get out of position and allow the young one to step in that is something i'm calling on them right now and we are going to find a tactical way of actually pulling off those people or else they are going to waste our future how can you be in politics or in power for over 35 years and you still want to continue are you the only person in that country that is something that a lot of people are now asking united forces of change the only way we are going to get a liberation again united forces of change opposition must come together as one our people complaining night and day they wonder why they continue to live this way all we know that things can change someday if we really want them to change anyway Uganda land of abundance, but Ugandans living in deficiency. Museveni wants life presidency, we must abandon that silly tendency. Uganda rich, but Ugandans poor, because the leader is drunk on power. 
He runs nation like family affair. The citizens suffer, but he don't care. Yes, that is Bobby Wine actually, you know, accepting his fate at a point in time with a kind of this song for the um, president. And I think we need to understand it from that point of view and start living true to ourselves. You got to understand that most people in Uganda, they are not happy that they are um, living their life the way it is. And it's like um, the president is not ready to make any change want them to continue living like that and that is a bit disturbing but something got me surprised somebody in the comment section um actually said something that bobby wine is not intelligent you should go and sit down to that um the president will continue and when i checked the profile of this person he's a very young person younger than me and i was like meant to disturb but she actually came out to speak about the whole thing um a kind of uh, urging um Ugandans to you know come out and protest against the government that they need a revolution and some people are blasting Showare. Does it mean that we should expect people in Uganda to continue living the way they are living? We should expect people in Nigeria to continue living the way they are living. I need that in the comment section because I want don't want to talk further than this. Hey, hey let's go. go! Yes, Whiskey is now trending on social media after gotten a platinum in Canada, double gold, like David o actually did one gold in Canada. And some people are just rely on that as the soul statistics to actually say whiskey is the best i told you guys man you have to take cumulative before making your assumptions not that somebody topped a particular platform and you want everybody to accept that platform as a yardstick of measuring the success of that no that is not the yardstick somebody could be topping on youtube somebody could be topping on audio mark somebody could be topping chart on apple and the rest they are all different platforms at all but you have to take your cumulative and then the last of grammy award is also there nomination counts in the um resume of um, every artist and whiskey a lot of people are coming out to say whiskey is uh the odogu of africa but do you think like that i think whiskey and davido they are the messi and ronaldo of music game in africa and that is something you guys need to understand and uh, whiskey and davido they are a bit bigger than Burner Boy, although Burner Boy is closing in fast. That is something that you guys need to understand at this point in time. And I still want to say something that we cannot undermine um, the, the, the role or the influence of uh, Drake in the recent um awards of whiskey yes drake is a canadian that is something you need to understand and he stays in us whiskey just got a uh, good uh, platinum in canada and that is also the influence of drake it was actually mentioned at uh, the grammy academy and some people were like blasting them out i think that is a fact you guys need to understand that drake actually brought influence on whiskey winning this with come closer where he featured drake let's take it like that hey, hey let's go yes trending right now on social media also is Dove refused to fly on the Armed Forces Day in Nigeria. That is something that some people are not like, you know, too cool about, laughing about it. Some people are saying that, yes, even the girls are angry about the situation in Nigeria. I want you to see some of the video from, you know, um, a lot of people actually said something. The president released the Dove, it didn't fly. Fly high and show that our great nation Nigeria is in absolute harmony unfettered peace all over in spite of insurgency hetzmen kidnapping the nation is closely integrated and living in peace we will see the birds of pigeon they fly high soon signifying we can see them there they go there they go put your hands together if you will please put your hands together no there they go anything whitish is uh, signifies peace even the emo state governor also did his but the dove refused to fly man the dove is actually angry of the situation in this country mean as the governor of emo state and it coincided with a national celebration like we are doing today 
The only state that has that kind of privilege is Imo State. Wonderful, I see now releases the pigeon. Oh my God, the first is released in the presence and appreciation, admiration of the service commander. Guys, what can you make out of this? Need that in my comment section. But before I jump off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time I upload my videos. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about as a people on social media.